Hi, it's Rick, and I'm here at the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, where I'm going to take you on a tour of the Sky Harbor Art Museum. So let's go take a walk. The Sky Harbor Art Museum spans the entire airport, including terminals 2 and 4, 2 through 4, the rental car center, and even Deer Valley Airport in North Phoenix. We start our journey in Terminal 3 with the free SkyTrain, available for easy transfers between terminals and the car rental center. One of the museum's permanent works, the stained glass window designed by artist Ken Tony outside the ground floor north curb, was repurposed when Terminal 3 was remodeled in the beginning of 2016. Our next stop will be upstairs within the terminal, where we'll begin with some of the museum's sculptures up close. Most pieces have a placard by their side with information about the artist and the place itself. Look for card racks found throughout the airport with information about each piece and a postcard you can take with you to remember those you find most interesting. One current display has items collected by Valley Concert promoter Danny Zalisco, who founded Evening Star Productions, and includes signed guitars and posters from Santana, Sting, and Alanis Morissette. Next, we'll head back down the escalator for the ground level displays, which include both paintings and sculpture. Current exhibitions include Diversity in the Desert, found in both Terminals 3 and 4, the permanent outdoor sculpture garden, Psyche, Mission to a Metal World, and You Scream, I Scream, We All Scream. The Sky Harbor Art Collection started in 1962 with a mural in Terminal 2. Though, with its growing collection, the museum was officially begun in 1988 and today includes more than a thousand pieces. Let's take a ride on the airport SkyTrain to see Terminal 4. If you're visiting the airport with kids, they'll love the SkyTrain as it travels between all the terminals and the rental car center. So make sure to get in the front car. You can pack a lunch and have an airport picnic adventure, enjoy the art, ride the train, Take the elevator to the top of the parking garages for spectacular 360 degree views of Phoenix and to watch the planes taking off and landing. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of the museum was. Terminal 4 is the largest of the terminals and where you'll find the biggest collection of artwork. We'll begin our journey in Terminal 4 at the museum's main gallery where the diversity in the desert collection continues. One of the larger current exhibitions is Night Vision, with installations found at every corner of the Terminal 4. Near the SkyTrain escalators, you'll find some of the pieces from the Fly Back in Time exhibition, which includes some interesting historical photos of the airport from the 30s through the 80s. Maybe my favorite thing about the airport museum, aside from the fact that it's free to visit, is that it's constantly changing. Well, this video was created in 2024. If you visit in 2025, it'll be vastly different with the exception of the permanent works like the art glass window and some long-term pieces. Make sure you keep an eye on the floors throughout the airport as they too are designed by artists, as well as the hallway to the SkyTrain in Terminal 4, which are pictures of leaves taken under a microscope and blown up under glass.
Thanks for taking an adventure with us to the Sky Harbor Art Museum. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more Southwest adventures.